This is Sherman Dijon here at Epcot Center with Javier Moreno, Senior Vice President of Disney Destination Sales Solutions, to talk about the new Epcot transformation, what guests should expect, and all the new exciting things coming to Epcot. Ready to jump in? I'm so ready. All right, Javier, tell mm -hmm. us, it's been a many year transformation. A lot has happened. How does it feel to kind of finally put that final piece of the puzzle into place? So it's literally a dream come true. It's so amazing seeing this destination and this park coming to the culmination of this multi-year um, transformation. We're right here at a community core where we have a great new experience right here. Mickey and friends will have an opportunity to meet all of our uh, beloved guests from all over uh, the world. And our guests will have the opportunity to experience many, many new variety of experiences. It could be from food, from art, uh, from culinary experiences, uh, from uh, music, the extension of the festivals. So it's a really great moment because the whole area comes to life in a brand new way. A lot has changed. Walk us through how the look and feel of Epcot changes for somebody who may be returning after all these changes came into place. What are some of the changes you made? Why did you make them? And how does it change kind of the overall look and feel of Epcot? So you have so many different experiences and new experiences. You could go from shopping. Uh, the new shopping experience is really different, it's really new. From uh, the eatery as well, Connections Cafe, that looks, feel so very much different. And then you have the beautiful gardens, you have a lot of uh, shadows, you have a lot of trees. And then, you know, there's surprises like having the chance to take a picture with Walt the Dreamer that is looking, you know, at his vision of what this place of opportunities uh, will be and will look like and look like uh, today. And then there are another um, interaction experiences that were not before, um, like a journey of water inspired by Moana. That's a truly is an interactive experience that teach teach everybody about the circle of life, the circle of uh, water, and then there's new kind of uh, thrill opportunities that were not here a couple of years ago, like Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind. So it makes a very compelling uh, new offer and gives the opportunity also, you know, to pause and to have a different perspective on the parks. And we can wait to welcome everybody to discover this transformation. I'm sure it's challenging to, during these renovations, you want to try to preserve the classics, preserve that classic feel, but also bring the park kind of into a new era for a new generation. Walk me through kind of how you balance those two kind of competing factors and mm -hmm. what, what thought process went into play. Uh, I would say they are complementary. Uh, let's think what is going on uh, right now with a new uh, entertainment and a sing-along that's going to be scheduled for the summer, inspired in Encanto, and it's called uh, Celebración Encanto, uh, that, you know, with the beloved characters of uh, that incredible uh, movie from our animation studios that resonates so well with the smalls. And then you have Journey of Water, that is a totally new experience. And then you might have a music festival that you can get from Latin music to jazz to any kind of music. So it's really about how all those different experiences get together in a single place. So the, the space we're in now, Community Core Hall, this was the final piece of the puzzle in terms of this multi-year mm -hmm. transformation. What's so special about this space? How do you plan to use it in the future? Obviously, you mentioned the Encanto performance that's going to take place later tonight. Um, how do you view this kind of as a crucial piece of that puzzle in terms of the next, the next generation of Epcot? Yeah, this is um, uh, a place that comes to life, literally. This is going to be a place uh, that is going to be very versatile. It's going to be a place where you can find a culinary experience is a place where you can relax and sit down and just enjoy the beauty of the trees and the nature. It's going to be a place that you can discover an art exhibition. So it brings life to this area of the park. It leaves a new way of experiencing it. So I really think that, you know, this is the ultimate experience and Epcot is about possibilities. This is a possibility that's coming to life in a brand new way. And uh, this is, you know, every, one of the amazing things about a Disney park is that you can make your very own visit. This is an opportunity to live it in many, many new different ways. So working a little bit chronologically, mm -hmm. it's been a busy six to eight months. Mm -hmm. 
at Epcot in terms of new additions. First, October, you mentioned Journey of Water, Water. Moana. Why do you feel like now is a good time to highlight Moana, the story of Moana, and what message are you trying to get across with that new attraction? Well, Moana is an incredible success for all audiences, and it's an incredible story about the connection with the families, about uh, traditions, but it's also about how important it is to protect Earth. And uh, the message in uh, Moana Journey of Water, inspired by Moana, is exactly about that. It's teaching the kids and it's teaching everybody about how important it is to protect our ecosystem and the water in a fun, interactive way. And this whole area is exactly about that. It's about elevating and celebrating the possibilities. And then December, you mentioned it earlier, the Walt the Dreamer statue and the new cel World Celebration Neighborhood. Tell us, what, what has the reception been to that space so far with your guests? Uh, do you feel like it's really resonating? And, and tell us why. It's, it's very interesting because you sometimes you get the answer, okay, what's your favorite part? What is your favorite experience? I'm going to ask that. Don't okay. worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's, it's great to hear how really our guests are experiencing Epcot very differently. They, they are really enjoying the new experiences. We got great reviews about um, a journey of water inspired by Moana. We had great reviews about the whole area, how it's more welcoming, how you can just relax, see this is what is, this park is all about. And uh, it's also about the new festival and the new opportunities to bring music, art, and culinary uh, um, opportunities. Also in December, b December was quite busy. Yes. Uh, the Luminous, the Symphony of Us, beautiful, visual, spectacular. Why do you think that's such a must-see for, for guests? Uh, the nighttime uh, spectacular in a Disney park is a must-see and must-do. And this uh, new spectacular uh, show is really about celebrating all of us. It's a perfect ending for a perfect day. Um, it's a great storytelling and it's a great visual effect with all the pavilions around the world. So I really think it made great combination for uh, what the whole experience is. And um, it, it works really well in the combinations of the festivals that are very, very popular in Adapgat. When you're thinking about uh, the arts or you think about the food and wine that is extremely, it combines so many experiences. When you see the guests uh, participating in a massive mural coming to life and guests are part of the magic, that's just incredible. You touched on art. We had a chance to see the new Portraits of Courage, which is highlighting those portraits of service members um, that were created by the former president, George Bush. Mm. Uh, tell us why it was so important to bring that to Epcot. Uh, there's a lot of history in terms of service that dates back to Walt Disney. Why was that so important to bring to Epcot and what do you hope that guests take away from that? It's part of uh, the uh, celebration and it's about honoring uh, all veterans in the Walt Disney Company. There is a very deep tradition and we thought that it was the right way to celebrate them in a very special way. And uh, it's a beautiful place. So uh, we are really happy how it came out and we can't wait everybody to come and, and explore it. We'll take a break. You'll celebrate this moment of finally mm. completing this big transformation. But tell me a little bit about those next future plans that you have for Epcot. Um, what are you excited about adding next? Well, um, around the corner, you know, the return of uh, the popular festivals, that's a unique opportunity to continue in experiencing Epcot. And right now, what we really want is everybody to come and discover that multi-year transformation. For those who have not been here and visit us in five years, there's so many new experiences to discover. And when you enter the park and you come to this area, you will realize how beautiful this looks, how the experience is very, very different. And then you can have new touches like Guardians of the Galaxy that it was not here some years ago. So it's that great combination that I think it will surprise a lot of new guests. And what should, what should the travel agent community know mm -hmm. about how you're supporting them, how you're educating them, or just supporting them more broadly in terms of 
getting their guests to Epcot for these kind of experiences? Uh, travel advisors and our trade friends are so important to Walt Disney World and everything we do to promote this destination. We will continue investing and developing new programs and, and enhancing existing programs. We have mm, familiarization trips that are critical because there's nothing like living and experiencing the destination uh, right here. We'll continue in uh, all the uh, supports and, and the website that uh, where you can really develop your learning uh, capacities on the destinations. We will continue also bringing new ways of celebrating our travel advisors. We just created a brand new experience in Animal Kingdom about celebrating our travel advisors. So we are constantly learning, listening, and coming back to new ways to help them, to help us to bring many, many guests in the future. I've got to know, do you have a personal favorite of all the things that you've added recently? or? Maybe something that's been here quite a long time. Do you have a personal favorite that always kind of gets Resonate. you really excited, resonates with you, gets you very excited? Yeah, I, I had the opportunity uh, to be in here when we inaugurated Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Ray One, which personally is my favorite attraction. So uh, the fact that it happened right here that I've got. It's a must-see, must-do in an Epcot visit. And then I absolutely love about the nighttime show. Uh, for me, it really conveys everything that is about Disney magic, Disney difference in a very unique park like this one. Great. Anything else you want us to know? That uh, we hope that everybody will come and visit us this summer and that they will continue supporting us for the future. Um, this is the most magical place on Earth and we really hope that you will come and discovered everything we have to offer. All right, thank you so much, Javier.